So good morning. Welcome to October's trade sale from Shoreham Auctions. Today is Thursday, the 19th of September 2024. So what we're going to look at is some electric vehicles. We have 21 EVs today. They're mixed in with ICE vehicles, internal combustion engines. We're not interested in them, just interested in the electric vehicles, the EVs. So what have we got out of the 21? We've got six Nissan Leaf 40 kilowatt hour, also one Leaf Plus with a 59 kilowatt hour battery and one 17 plate Leaf, the original Leaf with 24 kilowatt hour. We're going to have a quick look at that in a minute, the details, just as an example. Uh, we've got eight Zoe, an MG5, a Hyundai Kona Ultimate, top spec with the head up display, a Vauxhall Combi, a Skoda Enyaq 60, a Toyota BZ4X Motion. Where do they dream up those names? Uh, and this is an Aria 63 kilowatt hour. So I've got a nice spread of different vehicles, but I like these auctions because these are what I term sort of bread and butter vehicles and a very lower price range for people who want to get into an electric vehicle. So stay tuned. I'm just going to be really pithy, talk about what the different grades of condition mean, which you can watch different videos in the past, and I'll highlight those as we go through the sale. But for now, just scanning down, you can see all the vehicles there. I've just put through their filter to show all the vehicles that are going to come through. So as an example, let's have a look at this Nissan Leaf, 24 kilowatt hour on a 17 plate. So there we go. If I tell you what, I'll move myself over there. So there we go. So we get the beauty shots all the different angles and we also get a condition report so it's the great thing about Shoreham is they'll show the condition and the door cards need a bit of a clean uh, the great thing about the upholstery in the Nissans the it's made of basically recycled plastic bottles so it's highly scrubbable you can really put some detergent on them scrub them up dry them off and they look like new as with all leaf because of the lack of thermal management the 24 kilowatt hour is a better buy than the 30. Just trawl the internet to see the 30 kilowatt hour leaf with serious battery degradation because they just basically cook themselves. But looking at this picture here, as you can see, it's dropped one capacity bar on a 17 plate. It's done just, what is it, uh, 32,000 miles. So degradation is a combination of miles, charges, but also age, time because of that lack of thermal management and the early battery chemistry with the Nissans, you do get some degradation, but the price reflects that. Um, here in the middle where it says to 100% charge uh, six hours, that means it's a 3.3 kilowatt onboard charger, not the upgraded 6.6. .6. If it was 6.6, .6, you would see two charge times here. But one drop of one battery bar, this is still going to be good for around 60 miles. So do you know what? If it's the price right, what an ideal local run vehicle this is. Just one service stamp in the book. Doesn't bother me. Just the Type 2 cable. There's the photograph, which I love about Shoreham, showing the two charge ports. Just showing it's got Chadamo. Just be aware, some early old shape Leaf didn't have Chadamo fitted. That's the rapid charge connection. But Shoreham will always show the charge ports. Uh, and it's just showing you what's there. The tire inflation kit and when my computer loads. And then just basically a description of any imperfections, which can be seen here on the report. Um, so tells you all the details. Two keys, SD card, Type 2 cable. Well, it's Type 1 to Type 2, but we know what they mean. All the tyres have six mil on. Uh, spare wheel is missing. Didn't have a spare wheel to start with. Locking wheel nut keys present. Uh, carpets, upholstery, seats, all average. Parcel shelf is there. So you get the idea. They describe everything. And then further down is obviously the still shots of the chips. Uh, tyre inflation kit missing. Okay. So the, the uh, liquid gunk is there but the, the pump is missing. It's really cheap to replace that. It doesn't have to be original Nissan one. 
uh, scrapes, marks, you get to see everything. So the great thing about uh, Shoreham is that they are really good at describing. And I'll just show you this. It's showing that as a fault. Just That's just grease. That's just body grease off somebody's hand over the last, where are we, seven years. That guarantee will just scrub up and be nice and black and back to normal. So their descriptions are absolutely superb. So that's a Nissan Leaf. So again, just as an example, you've got cap here, cap clean, 3,075, cap average, and auto trader retail. So cap meaning computer aided pricing, and that's from HPI. It takes all the details of uh, recent prices that uh, this particular make and model of vehicle are sold for at auction within the trade, and they compile all those figures and come up with an average. So cap average 2,750. Needs a bit of work, so I could see this perhaps going for around two, two thousand two hundred. Great value. Um, and then down here we see it has two owners. Uh, that stated his margin it means it's come from a company that's not that registered. Come from an individual again. Wouldn't alarm me on a vehicle of this age. V five to apply. I think it's about twenty five thirty pounds to apply for a V five. So not a real biggie, but again. That will affect the price. Now it does say down here, MOT, nothing. So I put the MOT into DBLA's website. The Nissan Leaf is telling me a lot. It's expired. And it expired on the 7th of December, which was, where are we? 12 days ago. So it's obviously been sat on a transporter after the MOT is expired. So again, nothing to be alarmed about. But looking at the previous MOTs, Last one was the 8th of September 2023 when it passed at 30,000 miles. The year before, 29, so it's not done that much driving, has it? The year before that, 26, and then it was just the advisory was uh, tyres cracking. Um, and then the year before that, July 2021. So again, you get the idea that you can look back at the previous MOTs to see what sort of life it's had, but... His first MOT, 1st of July 2020, was at just 25,000 miles when it was three years old. So, yeah, nice thing. Um, and the price will reflect that, I'm sure. So there we go. That's just the one I'm going to keep my eye on. I think that's one of the first lots. It's lot 302. And um, so let's dive straight into it and um, see what it fetches. So before we start the sale of the electric vehicles, everyone always asks, what are the fees? Well, these are the fees from Shoreham Auctions to you, a member of the public. Uh, the fees are 10% of the hammer price with a minimum fee of £125 plus VAT up to a maximum of £750 plus VAT. And there's also a £12.50 admin V5 charge plus VAT. So compared to the other auction houses, these are one of the cheapest and also the best. Their descriptions are absolutely spot on. So if you want to bid yourself personally, so you can actually go and visit Shoreham as a member of the public. I think you have to leave a £500 deposit, leave your details, and you're then free to bid in the hall for the vehicle. OK, so let's get to it. Well, we go lot 302. Nissan Leaf Ascent to the auto, the electric. So here we go. So here's that Ascent to 17 plate. You've seen the description. I reckon this is going to be about 2-2. So keep your eyes. Oh, straight in. Online bidder at 2-5, 2-6, Wow. Cap average is 2750. Needs a bit of work. But yeah, needs a V5. Needs a new MOT. Bit of three thirty one. This is strong money. Cap clean is <laughs> three thousand and seventy five. Again, this is price range car, isn't it? That's going to sell. They're a good car. They're twenty four kilowatt hour leaf. Like I've said before, better than the thirty. Sold three four. Nice. Zoe GT line with the rapid charge forty one thousand miles on a twenty plate. First registered the 6th of the 8th, 2020. No history. Doesn't bother me. Uh, cap clean is 7925. 
already up to 76. Sold 7550. That's a lot of car. That's cheap. Next, here we go. Another Renault Zoe GT line in the nice red. 18,000 miles on a 21 plate. Uh, registered July 2021. MOT till the 16th of July 2025. Should be 96 cap clean. Nice colour. Again, do your research. See if it's got the heat pack fitted, which you can usually see from the photographs. And I've not gone through all these Zoe's, but uh, it's up to 94. 96. Uh, the cap clean. This will sell. And this is from Mobilize. That's the financial arm of Renault and Nissan. So these are X lease cars. 99. Is that going to sell? Taking bids at 99.50. Sold 99.50. Nice. Next, we have the Leaf um, E Plus. This has got a 59 kilowatt hour battery, 4,000 miles on a 72 plate. I think this was grade four, so it needs a bit of walk. If it work, if you want to know what the grades are, click the link above my head now. Um, but capping at thirteen one needs a bit of work, and the price at the moment is reflecting that eleven eight. Sold eleven eight for a sixty kilowatt hour leaf value. Next, M connector forty kilowatt leaf in the free color flame red. 17,000 miles on a 20 plate, uh, registered June uh, 2020, should be 8.3, already up to 7. Uh, this is the end connector, you get the heated seats and the end connector, and this had rapid charging, of course, as standard. Uh, sold 7.1, 7.1 for a 20 plate, that's value. Next, another Zoe GT line rapid charge, 10,000 miles on a 21 plate. In the black, grade four needs a bit of work. Cap clean is 10 at one. The work and the grade is reflecting the bids here up to 85. Still 500 pound behind cap average. 200 pound or 100 pound behind cap. It is cap average. Now, um, if it is that grade four, I can't see it going much more. There you go, sold, nine, one. If you don't mind something that needs a bit of work, that was value. Here we go, another re le uh, leaf, another Zoe rapid charge. Why do I keep saying rapid charge? Not all Zoe's have rapid charge fitting, but I'm sure I'm good enough and uh, wise enough to put when it's got rapid charging fitted. 27,000 miles on a 70 plate, should be 8,750, already up to 8,7. It's grade two, so it doesn't need a lot of work to make it four court ready. Again, uh, great value these are now, 8,850. Just over cap clean. Obviously a popular colour for the dealers on the forecourt. Next, we have a leaf. Uh, the tech nut. So it's got the leather and all the little bits and bobs. Front and rear heated seats. 33,000 miles on a 20 plate. Uh, grade 2. So not too bad a condition. 8125 is cap clean. It's already up to 82. It's in one of the best colours, to be honest. That grey. I think it looks really nice. Again, great value for a 140 mile range EV. What's it going to fetch? 85, this will sell. Sold, 85. The Zoe Iconic, 50 kilowatt hour. F uh, 50 kilowatt hour, that's the speed as well. So I don't think this has got rapid charging features. Again, you'd have to check. 14,000 miles on a 70 plate. 8625 is the guide. Grade two, virtually at the box, doesn't need a lot of work. It's already up to seven eight. Uh, so yeah, it's got a fifty kilowatt hour battery, but it's not got rapid charging according to the description. Eighty three, so it's just behind cap clean. But of course, if you don't need rapid charging, great town sold eight three. It's ideal if you're not doing massive mileages and you don't need that rapid charge ability another leaf it's the one in the flame red 20 plate done 15,000 miles it's the center you don't get the heated seats with the center and non-tinted glass in the rear yes i'm that much of a geek seven six cap clean is seven eight 
I think they these are run on 17 inch tyres as well, so slightly more efficient. Um, and I do believe the heat pump was optional on some of the early Ascenta Leaf 40 kilowatt hour. £8,000. Sold eight. That was strong money. Next, another Zoe. Rapid charge. 71 plate. In the blue. Quite like it in this blue. 22,000 miles. Grade two. 9,550. wonder if this will go for 98. 92. 93. 94, grade 2, uh, there we go, Ooh, taking bids at 9.450, I think this will sell, so close, yeah, sold, 9.5, next, another Zoe, iconic, again, it doesn't say rapid charge, so I just assume it hasn't got rapid charge, in that nice purpley mauve colour, um so 8600 miles on a 20 plate showing cap clean of 8775 it's uh, up to seven and a half some five some six some 650 i think this will sell as well it's 20 plate uh, v5 till next july uh, v5 mot till next july v5 present eight thousand pounds this will sell. 1050 slowing up. Online bidder and a bidder in the hall. You just assume that the dealer sold 8250. Strong money for something without rapid charging. Uh, here's an unusual one. This is the Kangoo Advance uh, 44 kilowatt hour car derived van obviously electric this will be commercial so it's plus vat that's what happens with all commercial vehicles 17 4 23 plate done two and a half thousand miles in the gray not to see a van in gray instead of the obligatory white um cap clean 17 4 don't know much about these other than their 44 kilowatt hour size battery um i'm guessing the range could be pushing 200 miles so i'll put 12.9 ideal for london of course being congestion charge exempt 12.850 at the moment because i think they're going to charge everyone whether it's electric or not in the future rather than a pollution charge it's going to be an actual congestion charge i've really gone off topic now of night plus that don't forget 13 provisional 12.950 didn't sell Right, another Zoe. This is the Riviera Limited Edition Rapid Charge 50 kilowatt hour. Look at those wheels. Um, 8,700 miles on a 71 plate should be 10.6. Don't see many of these about. Um, I had a look earlier. I thought these all came with leather, but this one's just got fabric seats. Don't exactly know what the difference is, to be honest, between this and a GT line. Anyway, it's up to 10.2. Cat Clean is 10.6. 8,700 miles on a 71 plate, sold 10 2. Now the Zoe, the Zoe Play 50 kilowatt hour. Again, I don't think this has got rapid charging on a 20 plate, 58,000 miles. Buy to apply to DVLA, I think it's about £25 to get a V5, might take about 7 to 10 days. 6,250, sold 5 7. Wowzers. It's an Aria Advance 63 kilowatt hour, the smaller of the two. I think the other one is 87. But still good for what? 230, 240 miles. A big old SUV thing, this. 11,000 miles on a 23 plate. Uh, it's a colour green. Must be a very dark green. Uh, you've got to apply for a, a V5. Uh, Cap clean is 23.6. Quite a nice looking thing. In fact, my mate Chris and Julie, my mates Chris and Julie, Took one of these from the North Pole to the South Pole. So uh, really durable, well-made EV. 22.2. These are all motability, so these are early returns. So there's no VAT. They're called margin cars. Uh, where are we? Should be 23.6. Sometimes with motability, they let it go. 22.6. £1,000 under 
book. Next from Motability, the Toyota BZ4X Motion. Who dreamt up that name? Can you imagine all the focus groups it went through and they all said, yeah, that's a great name for an electric vehicle. 24 play, again, Motability vehicle, so an early return, uh, 5,100 miles, uh, up to 24. Cap clean is 26. I had a quick look at this. It's very clean. There's a few marks on the inside of the doors where the seat belt's caught, but nothing really major. Uh, 26.8. Often with motability, they'll let them go well below. Uh, cap average is 25.5. It's up to 24.6. 24.7. Is he going to sell it? It's in a nice boring silver colour. A lot of plastic on this, isn't there? Is he going to hold it? 24.9. Sold 24.9. So that's a good chunk under uh, what it should have been. Next, the MG5. The exclusive. This is the 53 kilowatt hour. It's a slightly more smaller battery than the 60 watt kilowatt hour. Uh, motability, 71 plate, uh, done, 18,000 miles, books at 11.4. Looks quite nice in the red. 10.5, 10.6, exclusive. I think you get leather with this as well. Nice cars, very well built, very efficient and easy on the tyres as well. So up to 10.7. Uh, oh, provisional at 10.7. They're holding out for more money. Not been many provisionals today, but it was on that one. So Hyundai Kona Ultimate. This is the top spec. You've got the little um, head-up display. Coming up through the dashboard. Nice, efficient electric vehicles. Same floor pan as the Kia e Nero. 26,000 miles in the white. 21 plate. Uh, grade 3. Needs a little bit of work. Cat clean 14,850. Already up to 14,5. The spec, uh, you get the sunroof 14.8, it's already at cap clean. Needs a little bit of work, I think. The motability, this will go sold 14.8. Nice, here we go. Nissan Leaf 39 kilowatt hour, they changed it from 40 to 39. It's the same size as battery underneath. 1900 miles, 73 plate and connector. Again, motability, so an early return. 11.250, or caps at 10.5, grade 3. Uh, the black paint on the leaf tends to be a bit soft, to be honest, but a uh, bit of care and tension will see that looking great. Cap clean is 11.250, it's already up to 11.6. 1,900 miles. Uh, sold, 11.6. Next... We have the Combo, Vauxhall Combo E-Life, 50 kilowatt hour. It's a Stellantis vehicle. Uh, five seats, 13,000 miles on a 72 plate. Very versatile cars, these. Um, where are we? In the blue, registered September 2022. 15.3 is cap clean. 12.8. That's low. What grade is it? Grade 2. This may sell for a good... Oh, provisionally sold. 12A didn't sell. So that can go through next week. So here we go. Last one, I think. The 24 plate. Motability. Again, early return. Sometimes somebody who's got these on motability, maybe they sadly they pass away or they can no longer drive. Uh, 2,100 miles on a 24 plate, registered June of this year. 25,150 is cap clean, cap average 23.8. It's already at 22.5. This is the Enyaq 60. I think that is the 60 kilowatt hour or 58 usable or something. Again, uh, Skoda slash Volkswagen, not always making it easy to understand, but it's the 60 edition. Uh, 22.9. Yeah, they're going to hold back on this. Grade 3. It's a big old bus. We have one of these. It's a demo car. Yeah, provisional 22.9. Didn't sell. 
So we'll go through another week. So there we go. There's the end of the EVs that are going through this particular sale at Shoreham. Check out Shoreham's website. And like I said at the top of the video, um, their fees are displayed on their website. Very reasonable. So if you live locally, pop down. I think you have to leave a £500 deposit. Have a good look around the cars. But their descriptions are absolutely spot on. Thanks for watching. This was September's uh, live auction stream from today 19th of September Thursday and this will go out on the Friday so once a month I'll do a EV trade sale just to give you an idea of what trade values are in the marketplace thanks for watching we'll see you next month